This is it. When I finally cut the cord. I've been a traditional cable subscriber my entire life. I got last month's cable bill and it was $210 for internet and cable. For a while we were at 180 and then at the end of the year it just ballooned to 210. So that's just ridiculous. We were with Time Warner Cable for a long time. Now Spectrum. Thank you for calling Spectrum. Can I get the first and last name on your account please? In the past I have negotiated the cable bill down considerably. Uh, I'd like to reduce our service to just be internet only. Um, no more cable TV. I called to cancel cable and only have internet access. And they wouldn't just say, okay, I'll take care of that for you. That's actually a different department that's gonna um, disconnect any services for you. I kept getting passed around to different operators. I'd get to one operator, they would say, okay, that's great, I don't handle that. So I'm gonna pass you to my colleague who will take care of it for you. <laughs> Five minutes of Muzak later, uh, I get somebody else. You want to go ahead and remove services off the account? Yes, sir. Okay, what services would that be? I want to get rid of everything on our account except for internet. When you give them a call, uh, they try and drag out the experience as much as they can. As far as um, when you would watch the TV, what channels would you watch? We watch uh, Morning Joe. Um, they jump in there and ask you these questions like, what kind of shows do you guys watch? What do you and your wife uh, use your, your internet for? It's like this, what is the point of this? Let me see here what I can do. They would give you just a, a price that was a little bit lower. Like you wouldn't bring it down to 183.80 before taxes and fees. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, this is it. When I finally cut the cord. <laughs> I had to disconnect the cable box, and I had to take it to the Spectrum headquarters. It was honestly a little sad. It was almost like I was giving up a pet for adoption. We obviously still wanted to have some sort of, of content provider where we could watch live TV because we enjoy news programming, we enjoy sports. There are a lot of options to look at. Uh, Sling TV, uh, YouTube TV, Hulu TV. But the option that just looked like the best choice was Direct TV Now. The package that sort of hooked me was $50 a month. I would have to pay four months up front. And if I did that, I would also throw in an Apple TV 4K. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. We are gonna try out Direct TV Now. The day that we hooked up, Direct TV now, the Olympic opening ceremonies were happening, so that was gonna be like the ultimate test. The quality is solid. Crisp, HD. I mean, I, I honestly can't tell the difference. I'm in. It's really not up to me, it's up to her. What do you think about the quality of the, of the picture? It's good. Oh, here they go. We were on board pretty much immediately. The, the worst thing about it, there's no DVR. So we are back in the 80s where we, if we want to watch something, we're going to have to watch it live. But there are reports that DirecTV Now is going to add a DVR feature. The, the whole point of this is to save money. We were paying $210 a month. Now with the combination of Spectrum's internet service and DirecTV Now, we're going to pay $120 a month. It's going to save us over $1,000 a year. So it's been three weeks with DirecTV Now, and it's been great. The quality's been great, it's worked perfectly. Another big bonus is you can watch stuff on your phone or your iPad, and you gotta think that unless cable companies start aggressively lowering their rates, a lot of people are gonna start switching to these streaming services. So I'm really honestly surprised I didn't switch over a lot sooner.